What's up everybody? What the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, bitch. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Dinez, bitch. What the fuck is up everybody? Um, bitch, it's been a crazy day. But it's cool, you know, I like crazy, you know. As long as nobody, nothing bad happens to us, bitch, I'm good. Like I said, today I was gonna make a video and um, shout out to the person that asked me. I'm sorry, you know what? I need to write this shit down because I always forget. But you know what? I love you guys. And um, there's a little different, but you know, fuck it. One of my favorite dishes, pata de puerco, pork feet. Yes, I said it, pork feet. Um, growing up, my mom would always make them. And my uncle would always say, son patas de elefante, that I was eating um, elephant feet. And I would be like, well, these elephant feet are bomb. They're delicioso. So I bought, five pounds no six pounds and it was like sixteen dollars they're pretty cheap they're like the the pound was a dollar ninety nine so you know um yeah this is what they look like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you don't like me watching this shit like yeah go away because not go away just don't watch because this is gonna be a little different and yes i'm gonna suck the fuck out of these toes and yes i'm gonna clean them first of all um usually when they give they, they sell them to you they're like what the fuck this one has cilantro they sell them to you it goes like this so you're gonna cut them in half a lot of people like to cut them in fourths fives or whatever but i cut them in half so you get a little chunk chunk and also for this recipe for, to wash it we're gonna use some white vinegar we're gonna use chiles guajillos maybe some chiles de arbol. we're gonna need some garlic some black pepper, some laurel leaves. I'm using five. And I'm gonna use, what else? Oh, this chicken flavor stuff. And one more thing, oregano. You guys know what oregano looks like, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's do it. Sorry, cooking, I have my um, pot ready, getting my water ready, because you know this shit takes a little bit, a while, so you know, start it. First, I'm gonna cut them. Oh, this is a bad spot. See, I'm just cutting my half, like I said, and then I'm gonna wash them. Can you guys see? Yeah. The fucking helicopter crossing by. What's going on, bitch? I've been scared of helicopters when I hear them because, bitch, I, it's like another fire, another fire, another fire. There's been so many damn fires this year. It's scary as fuck, man. But you know what? I'm staying in Cali. I don't. I don't even know if I, if I ever moved. I don't even know where I would move. Maybe Texas because I have family over there. Arizona, I have family over there. But Arizona, I went in the in the summer a couple years ago. That shit was hot as fuck. We were dying. And then I was drinking like beer. Bitch, I was about to die. Because you're not supposed to drink and, and be in the heat. Because you get dehydrated and shit. Yeah, you need a good knife for this motherfucker. See how the, when you leave it in the water, the blood starts coming out? That's what we want. And I'm going to put the, um, the vinegar this bitch now we're gonna add the white vinegar if you have um mostly said apple vinegar or the other any type of vinegar it's okay it doesn't matter it's all good in the neighborhood as long as you get it in there for the smelly smell smell bitch that's all we want what we really really want yo tell me what you want what you really really want i'll tell you what i want what i really really want Do they know that when i was little i had a talent show and I was like the black spice girl. <laughs> yes, for real, for real. You know that there's four spice girls, I think. Well, my friend, the prettiest one, she was baby spice girl. The other girl, the sporty spice girl was my other friend, Sandy. Two Sandys, it was them. And then Veronica was the girl that didn't like me. She was the, I think, posh. So I was scary spice because I was like the darkest one. But bitch... She was the finest one too, bitch that ass. Like, bitch, please. So yeah, I was like, um, yeah, you got to it. Saying it's so easy. Yeah, girl, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, whatever. I don't know. I'm crazy. Anyways, you know it's clean and ready when the water, when you run it through water, you run it through water, and it's clear. That's what the fuck we want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they look kind of pale now. Like too much water, bitch. You've been made me go through so much shit, motherfucker. I don't know. I don't know why we're here. 
This one looks like a chicken. This one looks like a... Look at all those animals, moths? I don't know those lazy animals. I don't know, I'm fucking weird. So now, we're gonna put them in the water that's already been getting hot because I know this is gonna take a while. So I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna get it started, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andale, patitas, pa' que se calienten. Las patitas de puerco. Oh, whoa. Okay. So now I'm gonna get the chicken flavor thingy, my jiggy. And I'm put two, como se dice, tablespoons. Okay, motherfuckers. But those people that say, I don't know how to fucking measure, bitch, I'm trying. And we're gonna put some laurel leaves up in that hole. Up in that little hole. And where's my garlic? Where's my garlic? Oh. We're gonna take a whole garlic thingy. I'm gonna poke it so the flavor could come out. You know, started getting juices going. I mean, I hope you guys try this. I know it seems a little weird. Like patas, really feet, pig feet. But you know what I'm saying? I grew up on these motherfuckers. Like, um, you know, I feel like because they're not that expensive. You know, my mom, she did what she had to. You know what I'm saying? And she still is. I have an 11 year old brother and a six year old sister. And my stupid ass stepdad, he left, you know? He left with the Sancha. So now my mom didn't care of my siblings. But you know, she says she, says she likes doing it because it, keep, it keeps her motivated, keep, you know? And I am very proud of my mother. She is a bad bitch, like a real bad bitch. Not like these bad bitches get so many bad bitches and they don't have their kids. Like, bitch, you ain't bad, you dumb. So we're gonna put some black um, peppercorns, put them in there, and the oregano. We're gonna get the oregano, oh, wrong. Let me see if I can measure this bitch. Put it in there there a little bit more there and there and there you go now we're gonna close it and forget about it <laughs> forgot to add a little bit of salt like i already put the um the chicken flavor shit but you know what i need a little extra help agarre sabor. So meanwhile that's cooking i'm gonna eat my taco don't mind me if i do it Mm. Nothing special. I just season some meat, cook it up for the girls. Because they're always hungry when they come home from school. So we have to have food. Um, but, anyways, I want to tell you guys the cheese, man. About my cousin. So, yesterday I was talking to my mom. And my cousin, um, my mom was telling me about her ex. I was like, damn, my cousin always going out with guys that have money. She don't fuck around. That's not a bad thing. Whatever, you know, that's her thing. And she's like, yeah, but she shouldn't have gone out with that guy. I'm like, oh, Javier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, why not? I mean, he's ugly, but whatever. He must have a good personality. My mom's like, because your cousin and him are cousins. I was like, what the fuck? So my cousin went out with my other cousin? She's like, yeah, I guess he didn't know. He didn't know that they were cousins, so they went out. But when the mom found out, my my tia found out that they were going out, she's like, no, you can't be with her. That's your that's your um prima, that's your sangre. And he they broke up. But I mean, they still kissed and shit. I think they fucked. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be weird, but I think they did it. And I'm not trying to bash my cousin, but that's some tea right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, um, no, it's not beer. It's some Red Bull. And, um, I was thinking, how the fuck did he not know? His last name. Okay, my name, my real name is Erika Pascual Narciso, right? And Martinez is my, um, my last name for my husband. Is My maiden name. My real name is Erika Martinez. But anyways, so the guy's last name was Narciso. And my cousin's, I mean, she has her dad's last name, but at, after that is Narciso too. Wouldn't you be suspicious? Narciso is not a very common last name. Wouldn't you be like, mm, let me think about this. Am I gonna fuck this guy with this weird last name that all the people from the same rancho have? No. 
just say just say anyways um the chile guajillos i'm gonna peel them the seed take out the seeds the seed them new word the veining i'm gonna do vein i didn't look it up i just remember it. i don't want to look stupid actually i don't even care if i look stupid people say i don't know how to talk so my fucking vagina juice like swallow on that bitch and my vagina juice is popping it smells like like pussy i'm gonna make some spanish rice i think it's funny when people say that spanish rice can you have some spanish rice and then they call people spanish people that's the only that that's the language that we speak you know what i'm saying spanish spanish girl spanish boy spanish ass my patas and they're not ready because when i tasted one it was still a little hard so yeah it takes like an hour maybe an hour and a half just check on them how this is what it looks like so anyways the how you know if it's cooked it's if like this thing is wiggly but it's not as hard because if it's too hard bitch is not cooked trust me i know the first time i did it i like cooked it for like 30 minutes and then when mario was eating it he was like what the fuck is this he couldn't even fucking chew the shit but yeah that's a bit, a little too oh, I got my chile ready right here and I'm gonna it's already cleaned and shit I took the seeds out of some of them I took the seeds not all of them so I don't know I was impatient I'm gonna use one tablespoon of um powdered cumin I think that's what they call it and some onion two garlic some chicken flavor stuff and oregano oregano beach now I'm gonna take out the patas and put them on the side because I'm gonna use a little water, you know the juice. You could use um regular water if you want, but I'm gonna use the water. Ah, can you just pop out? Let me grab you hoes. They're like, no, we don't want you to eat us. I know, pata sounds crazy, but you guys are gonna like it. For the fun part, not really. We're gonna put the chiles inside just to get them wet. But I guess they, so they could get soft and shit. I know it sounds weird. Trust me, it's gonna be bomb. Ski, ski, motherfuckers. Watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Move them around. Cause that juice right there, it has the lower leaves, it has the flavor of the patas. That's the bomb shit right there. Oh, look, there's a garlic. <gasps> there's a pata. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot you. Wanted to run away, get away. Turn around for like a minute. I took out the chiles and now they're all ready. I put the cumin powder, the chicken flavor powder, oregano, garlic, um, black peppercorns, and a piece of onion. And we're gonna put it in the blender with a cup of the water that we used to boil this motherfucker right here. So then this motherfucker right here is gonna be ready to pretty soon. Blend it, but blend it for like a good amount of time because it has a lot of shit in there. almost done um the chile is ready i'm just gonna colarlo with the colander where's the little thing that's, that's what mandy said it's called i always call it coladora yeah for the seeds because seeds are bad for you according to science so let me show you guys yeah. how i'm gonna do that. but i washed it you know so it's a little cuter i'm gonna put a little bit of oil and let's do this we're gonna add the chile it came out a little thick I wanted a little bit less thick, but you know what? I could just add more water. So it's okay. I got a pretty color. Pretty little red. I'm gonna some I added another cup of water because it was way too fucking thick. You know what I'm saying? Whatever doesn't work, just fix it up. That's what I always do. I don't cook everything perfect. I be fucking up too. Wait, wait. So yeah, just go like that. It smells so good, bitch. Let me just tell you that. As long as it smells good, you know it's gonna be good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One more cup of the water that we used to boil the patas. So I'm just gonna add it that in there too. And now I'm gonna add the actual patas in there. I have to change pot because the other one was too tall and not wide enough. Wow, puppy, that's cute. 
You're so cute, puppy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww. I don't know, picture viejo loco. Este, yeah, I needed space to like cook because the other one was too tall. So yeah, that's why I removed the thing. Like I said, you just gotta go with the flow, bitch. How the patas look. I know I have a wet spot in my shirt, but you know what happened? What really, really happened? I got some red chili on me, myself and I. And then I was like, bitch, I gotta take it off because then it's gonna stay there. So I put some water on myself and I went like that with some soap. And yeah, that's what happened. But yeah, I like mine with a piece of onion. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yo, yo, yo. I'm, I already have my tortillas ready, but you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They just have that flavor. You can taste all the spices and shit. It's so good. Cucarachas always come in my video. Mm. So good. If you never tried patas and chile rojo, you need to try it. It's just a different flavor. It's like flavors. On steroids. Mm. And then there's that slimy part right there. That's so good. I'm serious, y'all need. To, I'm not fucking need to try this. Hmm. I forgot to tell you guys. I bought some Jamaica hibiscus flowers because I'm gonna show you guys how to make Jamaica too. I know it's like so fucking obvious, but you know what? There's people out there that don't know, and somebody asked me, and I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you out. But anyways, to all my bird gang, gang, gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and love, bitches.